What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and today we're gonna to be talking about the price of Bitcoin and Chainlink. So that commercial that you just saw was a commercial that I made for the CryptoWatch desktop app. If you guys want early access to the CryptoWatch desktop app, click that link below and sign up now. Now, moving straight into the content, what I find pretty interesting is that the crypto market is pretty much just a sea of red today, just red across the board for most of the top cryptos. And Chainlink is one of the only coins that is seeing some major moves to the upside today. Chainlink's price action is extremely unique compared to the rest of the market right now. It is sort of in its own world. Today is a great day, and I'm very happy because the Chainlink analysis that we've been providing here on this channel has been playing out really well and if you guys watched yesterday's video then you know that things are right on track we got that bounce we were looking for Chainlink is right now creating the next major parabolic low and is very likely looking for higher prices from here so moving on to Bitcoin I'm looking at Bitcoin on the daily chart Bitcoin is in a really interesting spot we're forming higher lows right now actually so we did get a little bit of a bounce today and we're also forming lower lows on the RSI which is giving us hidden bullish divergence for Bitcoin here. So if Bitcoin can play out this bounce, then we would at the very least be looking to maintain this range and potentially look for the breakout at a later date. Overall, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. We did fall below the immediate upward sloping trend. We still created a higher low. So things are looking a little bit more neutral right now. And we'll see if we can at least maintain this range for now. And again, guys, if the S&P 500 can get a break of the all time high, this would be very bullish for Bitcoin. And now moving on to the chain link chart, this is getting pretty epic. Things are playing out pretty much just as we expected here on this channel. We did dip a little bit lower than I expected we would, but still we are creating the next parabolic low and a much larger scale uptrend. If you watched yesterday's emergency update as the price was dumping to the downside, what I was saying was buying anywhere around the 21 day EMA is a fantastic buy opportunity. And that turned out to be the case. If you bought anything below the 21 day EMA, you are now sitting on some really nice profits. From that low, Chainlink is already up over 20%. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter. Yesterday I made a post where I said Chainlink daily chart, currently up 180% since the all time high break, bullish parabolic structure. Each parabolic low for Chainlink so far has painted a wick below the 21 day EMA with a touch off the 50% retrace. The trend is strong. Taking a look at this image a little bit closer, we can see that Chainlink has seen two parabolic advances with an extremely similar setup. We see an expansion to the upside and we pull back just below the 21 day EMA and hit that 50% retrace level. We rally up again, we pull back just below the 21 day EMA and we touch the 50% retrace. And like I said in yesterday's video, this pullback is only gonna strengthen the trend. These types of pullbacks during a parabolic trend allow new market participants to get into the market and this brings in more support and guys, this is really healthy for the trend overall. And I'm extremely excited about Chainlink right now. Moving on to the four hour chart, another really interesting chart to check out. The 21 EMA on the daily and the four hour has turned out to be a magical indicator. It may be a little bit more difficult for you guys to see this chart right now, but check this out. Looking at the bottom left of the screen, when Chainlink is using the 21 EMA on the four hour chart as support, this is an indication that we are in a strong upward trend. And once we get a four hour candle to close below the 21 EMA, that is an indication that we're going through a correction. And after we find this parabolic low and Chainlink starts to use the 21 EMA on the four hour as support once again, things become extremely bullish. And we never got a four hour candle close below the 21 EMA until we got that breakdown recently. And once we got that four hour candle close, below the 21 EMA, things got a little bit bearish. And then once again, we created a parabolic low and now we're seeing an incredible bounce to the upside. And what we can see is that Chainlink is now starting to push back above the 21 EMA on the four hour chart. This is an indication that things are gonna get very bullish once again. 
So now that we're getting this shift above the 21 EMA on the four hour chart, what we need to look out for is a continued push to the upside, but ultimately looking to hold along that 21 EMA on the four hour chart. If Chainlink is able to do this, if we can hold that 21 EMA, very likely this is gonna be guiding us into the next major parabolic advance to the upside. And like I always say, things in this market can get much more bullish than you ever thought possible. If you guys have been watching this channel, this is the exact type of structure that we discussed time and time again. In the previous videos on this channel, we discussed so many times that when you're creating a parabolic trend, you go on the initial short-term parabolic trend, you break that trend and you create a larger scale parabolic formation. And then when you break that trend, you create an even larger scale parabolic formation. We've discussed this time and time again, and that is exactly what's playing out right now. So this leads me to the end point. Chainlink right now is setting up for the next major parabolic advance. And what we need to look out for is a continued push to the upside and a break above $20 to the next major high. A lot of people are gonna be asking, Kev, where's the next major high gonna be? You know, who knows? It could be at the 1618, around $25. Maybe we extend all the way up to the psychological $30 level. It's always hard to tell exactly what the next upside target is gonna be. But if you go from swing high to swing low with your FIB extensions, the 1618, FIB extension target is coming in just below $25, $24.42. You could be looking at that as another um, target, you know, but in my opinion, things can get even more bullish than this. We could be looking to test upwards of $30 on the next major parabolic advance before creating an even larger scale trend once again, guys. Does this sound crazy? Of course it does. A lot of people probably think I sound crazy. Oh, Kev, you're just too bullish on Chainlink. But that's what they told me when Chainlink was sitting below the all-time high at $4. They told me that Chainlink would never hit $10. They told me that Chainlink would never hit $20. Chainlink is behaving a lot like Ethereum in 2017. And like I said yesterday, this is just the start and we're going to be looking for much higher prices in the long term, possibly in the hundreds within the next year. And especially, especially if Bitcoin enters a long term uptrend, if Bitcoin follows the stock to flow model post having as it always has in the past, and we start to see a major uptrend get formed and we start pushing above the all time high and finding new higher prices in the next year. Chainlink is going to see some insane gains. So just to conclude this video, what I'm looking for right now for Chainlink is a bullish engulfing candle. Hopefully we can get this daily candle to close above the open of the previous daily candle. So if we can get a daily candle close above $16.15 or so, that would be amazing. And ultimately what I'm looking for now is for Chainlink to create the next parabolic advance getting up to prices like $25, potentially as high as $30 on the next major test to the upside, continuing this parabolic structure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy all of the Chainlink content I've been providing for you on this channel. Guys, everything is going according to plan. Things look amazing for Chainlink. And now as I'm watching the chart, we just hit 16 US dollars. So congratulations to all you guys that bought that dip yesterday. I hope yesterday's video encouraged you guys to buy this dip, to hold on to your positions, because guys, it's all about the long term. The short term stuff is just noise. Long term, I think Chainlink is going to melt some faces. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Also, sign up for the CryptoWatch desktop app and be sure to join Patreon if you want to support my work here on YouTube, get some extra content and see what other altcoins I'm accumulating. I'll see you guys in the next video.